Hey everybody, we are Elkhart Horse Auctions. We are located in Elkhart, Texas. Um, and I'm gonna do a little video. We're live right now, so when you rewatch this, we won't be, but this is a little quick, quick little rundown of who we are. Hello, Indy. All right, y'all, so we are a horse sale. We are a horse auction located in Elkhart, Texas. We are home of the Lime Green Horse. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in for you, but it's right there. That lets everybody know where we're at. So what you'll do is you'll come on in. It is an awesome place, huh? So we do um, a sell every Saturday, rain or shine. Indy, you coming? Yeah, come on, you big lug. Come on. So we are here every Saturday, rain or shine. Um, Check-ins at 10 a.m. And... Uh, we have a used tax sale every first Saturday, um, and then that starts at 1 p.m. But so on our Saturdays, like today, check-in starts at 10 a.m. on horses, and then you are more than welcome to bring saddles. And then horses will start, um, so we actually do our tack. So this is the front. You come on in. There's three sets of bleachers. You have all these saddles. Everybody's welcome to look at them. Keep in mind what you want. So you have a couple of options to sit and this is where our tack is at. Just gonna show you some of the good things that we have. We have tons of blankets, cold weather's coming up like today. Nice, nice blankets y'all. And we have tons of buckets, spurs, head stalls, ropes, lead ropes, halters, all the good stuff. Saddle pads, some rugs, some blankets. Just a little bit of everything. And I think, don't forget y'all, This we, we usually don't do this, but we're gonna go live tonight on Facebook with our tack. We usually don't do that unless it's our used tack sale, but we're gonna go ahead and do that tonight. We're gonna see if it helps. All right, so let me keep on going. So again, our, um, so we'll do tack at 6 p.m. and then we'll do outside sales. And then we'll do saddles and then we'll do the horses. So if you're hungry, you can come on down to the cafe. Pretty nice food, nice people. It's pretty decorative in here, y'all. So if you're hungry, you have an A, just go ahead, come on down, we'll feed you. And walk back out once more. So, um, if you don't have a bidder's number, you just come to that window right there. How tall tag 683 is. Um, let me find out for you. I'm not outside. I haven't been outside yet. But so if you'll come on in, so we don't open up our window until around six o'clock. So just come on down and you'll sign in. But if you don't have a bidder's number, just fill out a piece of paper. Uh, you have to be over 18 and bring your driver's license as well. And if you're tax exempt in the state of Texas, we'll go ahead and make copies of everything and then you'll be good to go. So every Saturday that you do come, just come up to that window, sign in, get a new, like you'll get a new piece of paper. You'll keep the number, but you'll get like a different color. That lets us know that you signed in, you checked in. And so, let me trip over everything, y'all. I know I'm trying to make this short and sweet, but this is our office. This is where all the magic happens. Miss Tony does all of our paperwork for us. She's so happy. <laughs> um, so, and then we'll bring saddles in here as well. So if you do purchase saddles, um, just come on around after you pay for them and then bring your ticket in and then we'll get you the saddles. There's boss mom busy at work, so I'm not gonna bug her. Okay, so I'll keep going. Whew. And then down this hall, I know a lot of people ask us where our bathroom is. So if you just keep coming down this hall, opposite from the cafe way, just come down here and then there you go. There is the bathrooms. Kind of do the, like this quick little tour. Um, I feel like I'm missing out on every piece of bit of information that I can't think of off the top of my head, y'all. But here is the back of the barn. This is where everything happens. Um, we do lock this when it gets time to run the horses just for everybody's safety. We keep all of our gates locked. 
but you're welcome to come out, ride your own horses. See, we have a couple of cows today. Oh, wow, nice. Um, let's see. I know I'm out of breath, y'all. I've been gone for two weeks. So, um, anyway, so we do start at 6 p.m. We try to be on the dot. We'll do our prayer, scripture, and then I think um, one of us will grab the phone and do a walkthrough. But tonight we'll have the walkthrough going on and the tax sale. We usually don't do that, but we are tonight. We're open from Saturday. So if you if you buy something Saturday, if you buy something Saturday and you don't have your trailer, it's okay. We're open from one to three tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is Sunday. So we're open from one to three um, Sunday. If you did not bring your trailer, and then each day after Sunday will be fifteen dollars charge for boarding um, for each head of whatever you buy. Oh, look at all the donkeys. Somebody's having a heyday. We usually never have this many donkeys, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. This is not the official walkthrough. Y'all see this? Okay. All right, getting sidetracked again. Okay. So, what am I trying to say? Um, well, that's a quick little tour. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of anything I missed. I'm doing a little quick tour and I Oh, there's 19 donkeys. Wow. Who who has that many donkeys? I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, um so we do have quite a bit of stuff in our outside sale, so I'll go ahead and show y'all. Um, we do that on Facebook. So the only thing that we do on YouTube for bidding is the horses and that's because of Facebook's new policy where they don't allow you to sell the horses or really any type of animal because they'll flag you and we don't want that to happen. So we kind of stick there and I know it's kind of a hassle to go back and forth but that's just the way we have to do it right now. So there's usually a lot more of outside stuff but then again, what time is it? What time is it? Oh, it's only 2.52, right? 2.52? Yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> so, a lot of people come in last minute. I know I'm that kind of person that does. So, we usually have like a lot more and I'm sure we will, y'all. I don't think I've missed very really much anything, have I? Have I, have I, have I? I don't know. No, I'm not doing a walkthrough. I'm doing a quick live on the YouTube. Oh yeah, also, um, so if you missed out on anything, oh, that's another thing, don't miss out on anything, first of all, get your buyer's number, because we stop issuing them around six, is when she stops, because we do get really swamped, y'all. We can't answer everybody's question, but we try to get to it by the end of the night. But we do get busy. There's only a couple of us, and we're all just doing different jobs, and it gets, gets busy. So keep that in mind. And um, you can always call the office and ask, and that number is 764-1495. Uh, what else? Am I? Oh, so s Saturday. So Donna, Miss Donna, who is the owner, um, she outbids the kill buyer a whole lot, especially just, I don't know if the internet's asleep or what's going on, but she does use her own money, and she does outbid, and she spends a lot of money on different different like the donkeys the horses just different different things so when she does that she has a sunday sale so we usually start at 1 p.m but we kind of run a little bit later and we'll do a live on um youtube and facebook but for those you do not need your bidder's number it's just kind of like we set a firm price and that's just to cover our feed um saturday night you know so do keep that in mind. Um, what else am I gonna say? I keep saying, um, but yeah. So tonight, if you do decide to bid, bid on YouTube, not Facebook for the horses. And then um, we also always encourage you because there's always some sort of lag. Be sure to put in your max bid with your bidder's number. You have to have your bidder's number or we cannot take your bids, but be sure to do max bids because it's hard to go back and forth. In-house is so quick about getting their bids. Well, obviously they're in-house, but they're on it. And especially if you have one person here and one person there going back and forth, the internet can miss out so easy. So we I mean, we don't try to overprice you. If you set in like 
350 and they're at 320 we'll always have you in at the highest bid until you know it reaches there but we won't you know jump you for that price is what i guess i'm trying to say so we're always fair and if we see anything wrong we always call it we're always here to let you know um but we do sell as is we don't guarantee anything and then um every one to two months we do also um get a call about the prison horses so that's another cool thing that we do so we don't want y'all to miss out on all that either but yeah i get, i think that's about it that's the little rundown so um when you come in just so you know where to go you have a couple seating options here's your tag you can always come in and look at it and then what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, she's not in there. All right. So again, y'all, we will do tack. Then we'll do our outside and then saddles. And then we'll do our horses. So our horses don't run till late. And the reason why we do our tack or our sale, Saturday sale so late, everybody asks us is because you know, you have plans on Saturday. Everybody has plans, um, usually typically in the mornings, the afternoons. So we want to give everybody a chance to just kind of wind down the night and then join us. They're more than welcome to. And then I think we tried doing a little sale earlier, but I don't think anybody was online because everybody, I say everybody, I'm usually not busy, but people are busy during the day. And we understand it, so we try to do it a little later in the evening. And I think that is about it. So be sure to get in your bidder's number before 6 o'clock if you don't already. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, and then also everybody, a lot of people ask us, why do we get charged 3%? So uh, we do take PayPal, but you have to add in that 3%. And if you do decide to PayPal and you did purchase something, you know, call the office and we'll get that taken care of. So we can confirm that you PayPal'd. But, so if you buy something in person or online, doesn't matter, and you pay with a card, we have to charge you a 3% because that's what the bank charges us. So there is that 3% charge. So also, and another thing, if you are not tax exempt and you do decide to purchase some tack, some saddles, or the outside sale, we have to charge a, a sales tax. That's everybody, they do it. So if you're tax exempt, be sure to let us know. Um... I think that is it. I keep saying I think that's it, and I keep thinking I'm forgetting something, but I do think that's it. All right, so don't forget, y'all, we will have that tax sale tonight, which we never do. Um, so be on Facebook for that. If you don't have us, it's Elkhart Horse Auctions. And then uh, I think that's about it. So we will see y'all later on tonight.